Yo, what up everybody? It's your boy Matthew Maley from MatthewMaley.com. Just went out to the casino and I wanted to do a quick poker update. Um, went out to Fort McDowell with a few of my buddies to play in a rebuy tournament they have. Um, we all know I hate rebuy tournaments, but I just wanted to get out there and actually get back on the felt because I've been off my game so much after everything that happened with Full Tilt and I've just been working so much I haven't been able to get over to the casino or whatever. But I uh, decided to head on out there. Um, it's actually just a $10 um, rebuy tournament. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't expecting a whole lot, but I was hoping. There was uh, about 80 people in it. Um, pretty soon after I got there, I ended up picking up Pocket Queens. And that tournament, it really is if you pick up a hand, you push. And somebody's going to call you all in and they're going to gamble. Everybody, it's just like, just like Negranu in the World Series who rebought 69 times into the $1,000 rebuy last year or the year before. Or Mattisau did it 45 times. You just keep rebuying and rebuying and rebuying and rebuying just trying to build that stack up. And then, you know, then you actually have something to play with. So I picked up Pocket Queens. Um, actually picked it up on the cutoff. No, two before the cutoff. So I made a decent size raise, um, about four times the big blind. The small blind was actually really short stacked, so the small blind pushed all in. The big blind called, at which point action came around to me. I repopped it all in, and it wasn't much more for the big blind, so they called as well. Um, ended up, I had queens, <clears throat> small blind had pocket eights, big blind had pocket fives. Eight hit on the flop and it is what it is so that cut me down a bunch um literally like three hands later i picked up king queen pushed all in ended up getting busted out so i rebought and um that was right after the blinds went up a level because this is only 15 minute blinds and it's really not a very good structure of a tournament but it's still something to play so i ended up uh, picking up ace king um on the on the, the cutoff and you know, another round or two had gone by, and a guy had already, up to me, had already made a very large bet, so I ended up pushing all in. He ended up calling, he had ace-10, I hit a king on the flop, and that doubled me up. And then literally two hands later, I picked up ace-king again, there was a raise in front of me, I ended up raising it pretty substantially, um, and everybody else folded around to me, so I picked up another couple decent hands, and really, I, I was playing pretty solid poker, um, and it, with tournaments that have 15 minute blind rounds, and of that kind of structure, it really is just a gamble, it's just a crapshoot, and you're just hoping and hoping that maybe you can catch a good run, but, you know, I wasn't expecting too much, like I said, so I ended up picking up a um, king-queen and I made a raise, pretty decent size, it was about a third of my stack, maybe even more than that, and which point, guy two seats after me pushes all in, and it was not quite my whole stack, but it was for about two and a half, or two thirds, or a little bit more than that of my stack. I ended up calling, I don't think I was in a bad spot, and I had to make something happen. My M was down to like four or something. Which I know Dan Harrington says you've got to be the first one into the pot. I should have been. Should just pushed, but I don't know. The dude still might have called. He was hella loose. He ended up showing Jack ten. Somebody else called who also had King Queen. So I was the big stack. Had two people also in. Ended up nothing hits on the flop. Jack spikes on the turn. No straight or flush draws. Nothing like that. So I end up losing a pretty hefty pot there. And then then we go on break. Of course, you know, I couldn't have just gotten completely knocked out. Um, the rebuy period had already passed and ended up going over. They moved me to another table. And it's funny, I actually said when I sat down, I'm like, just give me a hand. I'm not even asking for aces. Just give me a hand because I just wanted something, you know, to play like Jack-10 is what I said. And as I came over, I was right in the big blind. So I was all in. You know, whether I liked it or not, I was all in. I couldn't, I didn't even have enough to cover the big blind when we came back from break because the blinds were so high. And sure enough, I guess I should have asked for aces because I pick up jack 10. And I don't even look at it until the board comes out, you know, because I'm all in, I don't even care. Board comes out, all low cards. Um, ended up, it, two other people were in it. I, you know, flip over my cards hoping to have anything and didn't. So ended up getting knocked out. 
Um, there were 89 people, I think, or 90, 93 people to start. 93 people to start. I ended up going out in like 62nd place or 61st place. So it wasn't really anything special. You know, it was what it was. And I ended up dropping 30 bucks. But we, I was there with three other guys, and we all bought each other's action for a last longer. So I ended up making 30 off of that. So I ended up, you know, breaking even and had the ability to play poker for four hours so it wasn't bad but um it was nice to you know get back into the tournament I haven't been playing much tournament poker lately ever since everything happened with Full Tilt the only poker I have been playing has been nothing but you know cash game I've been playing you know some eight or better and I've been playing some uh, some regular hold'em but I haven't been playing any tournament so it was nice to get in there and play sadly it didn't work out that well but it is what it is so that's my quick poker recap you know, it is. I know I didn't go into a lot of detail of the hands because there really wasn't much detail to go into. It was a pretty lame tournament, but you'll be seeing a lot more poker videos coming up. So if you guys like them, definitely check them out. And uh, thanks for watching my videos. So once again, Matthew Manley from MatthewManley.com. Check me out on MatthewManley.com. Hit me up on YouTube. Um, hopefully you could like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my thread. I appreciate it. I'm putting up videos all the time. Hit me up on Twitter, at Matthew Maley, and also on Facebook. Search for Matthew Maley Poker. Once again, I'm out. Peace.